Have you wanted to run your PC in full RGB harmony? Even though you got different RGB parts or hardware, and it's just a pain to really have it all set up correctly? Well, there is software to make it a lot easier for you. Whether you got RGBs from Thermaltake, Razer, Corsair, Asus, MSI, or so many other manufacturers, it's really hard to keep track of all the different RGB programs that you have. I mean, who really wants seven RGB softwares on your PC? Why? Why? You may have heard of it before. It is called Signal RGB. All you have to do is follow the following steps. The process will be as easy as pie. Well, hopefully as pie, because I'm getting pretty hungry. All right, let's, let's download this. You're gonna have an execution file here. You're gonna just open it up. If you have any RGB software, such as, say you have a manufacturer from MSI, you wanna make sure Mystic Light is off. If you have Gigabyte, you wanna make sure the Aura Center is off. Asus, you wanna make sure Armory Crate is off. You wanna make sure that any of the RGB software that you do have, make sure that they're completely off. You can allow the network connection for Signal RGB if you want. And what this will do is will allow you to have remote connections. It will also let you download their different type of profiles that they have, etc. So we're just going to allow it here. We're going to accept the terms of agreement. And right now it's just going to scan for all the RGB devices that you have on your PC. It should be a really straight through guide when it comes on the first side of it. I will tell you some of the things that you can expect out of Signal RGB and some of the problems that can be easily resolved if you are running into issues. Sometimes when you first install Signal RGB, it might freeze up on this side of the screen, but simply just reinstall it and then it will, the process will go through. Most of the time it's because it's detecting another type of anomaly of RGB software or any type of other RGB interference that can be with Signal RGB. So if it's taking a little while, you can always exit out, just like how this is. This is taking a little longer than usual. So we're just gonna go back down to the downloads folder and just in case, we're gonna right click it and run as administrator. Click yes. Oh, there we go. Simple as that, it seems like it was installed. You'll get this menu that comes up and it's already detecting some conflict with the RGBs. You wanna make sure to disable these services. For example, my I have this currently on an ASUS motherboard, so it's gonna be the lighting services execution file and the Corsair service execution file. So you wanna make sure you automatically close it. It could possibly do some damage to your RGBs and you don't want that to happen. So we're gonna go and continue now. We're here on the homepage. And we already got this, we got the gradient wave. And right here from there, you're gonna notice it has some ads when you do use Signal RGB. When you use the free version, you can either sign in or create an account if you want to be able to download any of these templates. But if you don't want, it's not a big deal because you can still customize it. Now, here is where you can customize your rig. Like you can have the different settings such as side to side. And as you can see, it's already conflicting with the system. So if you do notice something like that, that if your programs have not been properly shut off, such as the Corsair RGB lighting services or the lighting services from Asus, just make sure you go into task manager. When you go into task manager here, you're gonna go over to the services side and you're gonna go and shut them off. Here, it's gonna say Corsair services. See how it's running? We're gonna stop it. And the same thing with the lighting services. We're gonna also stop it. Now you're gonna notice a different response out of the RGBs in your system. It seems to be properly working. Now, for example, my keyboard looks a little bit funky right now. And that could all be because of the way it was, how the layout is. And I'm gonna explain the layout really quickly. 
and I promise you it's really easy to do, especially if you are running into a weird issue, say with your keyboard, just like I am. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. Not only do we love technology, but it's also important to know about the newest technology when it comes to personal hygiene. Especially when you game for long hours, you get pretty sweaty, nasty, sticky knees. This is why I gotta bring to you the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. When you unbox this beautiful packaging, it comes with their quick start manual, the clippers, which I love because it's nice, light, portable, and you can take with you anywhere. It comes with their skin safe technology, which is much wider compared to the Lawnmower 4. It also has skin safe technology on their foil blade as well which is a awesome part of the collection. So you don't have to worry about cutting or nicking when you are cutting just like this. It also comes with a variation of clippers. It comes with a travel lock button so you don't have to worry about it running in your suitcase. It also comes with dual LED lights. With this kit, it also comes with a wonderful travel bag. If you're interested in getting Manscaped's Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, make sure you go down in the description box down below. You will get 20% off and on top of it, it's free international shipping. So no matter where you are across the world, if you go to manscaped.com. So what we have to do is go into layouts. It might be kind of self-explanatory, but also it can be a little bit confusing when you look at it because everything will be stacked on each other, such as these default strips that I currently have inside of my PC case. Those are just the numbers of LEDs that I have, and this is my graphics card here. So you can see everything's kind of compiled on each other. What really caused the issue with the keyboard is that it's way back here, as you see, and it is massive for some odd reason. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this by going to the keyboard here. We're gonna switch up the position of it. Now, we're, if we move up the Y axis, that you can see where it's going here. You can see how massive it is. It doesn't even properly cover it. What you have to do is, you see the size down here? You're gonna just shrink it down some, and it's gonna make it into X axis as it, it will shift left and right. Our Y axis will normally bring it down, and there it is. There's the keyboard, and now it's working as it should. As your Corsair lighting node, if you have that connected, it's gonna show everything that's connected to it, such as this default strip. It has 204 LEDs connected to it, so you can actually move this up or down or move it out the way. And you can even set up a certain specific order if you want. As you can imagine, you could put the motherboard on the side. You could have it set up similar to how your PC is set up. So that explains the layout and how you can fix the transition. Now, when it comes to color and everything, that can also be customized here. All you have to do is go to the customized side, and here you can see that there's two separate colors. You have orange, and you have your blue. Now we're gonna switch up the colors here, and we're gonna change it to say, we're gonna change it to something completely different. We're gonna change it to yellow, and we'll change it over to, let's say, this purplish pink color. Kind of give it a sunset vibe. You can customize the different directions, say up and down, and you can do side to side, or you can even do all directions, which is up and down, side to side but you cannot really go into different transitions. In order for you to do something like that, you have to enter something else. Now, in order for you to get access to everything else or different type of styling for your RGBs, you have to download a different template. So they got, say, LSD visualizer, they got electricity, and there you can set your different RGBs if you want to. Once you're logged in, you can download the different type of presets. For example, I have this LSD visualizer and it has a really nice look to it. And here, if you like the style of it or how it looks on your PC, you can easily go over to the customized side and you can change up the mode. So here you can do rainbow gradients where you can go kawaii or you can do ocean. 
and here you can do the different effects and actually change out the different colors of it so you do have those uh, different types of options if you really want to it is limited to those type of effects to whichever you download so here goes a neon sunset wave and here you can take a look at that and you can go up right or you can go up and down all depending on how you prefer on your pc now it might be limited here one of the effects that you can be able to customize is a cyber rain you can actually customize the colors if you don't like this blue and yellow you want to give it more of a cyberpunkish look you can go blue and a pinkish color and that will kind of give it a cyberpunk look and you can control the speed of the effect too so signal rgb does really make it nice and easy on the way to control your rgbs but again it's limited to certain presets and that you can't really customize it yourself unless you choose to go over to the signal rgb pro side here you can look at different plans you'll have more customization you can't do different macros you can't do any type of monitoring unless you get involved and it's also ad free if you like the screen ambiance this is the one that would be closest to what your screen looks like and it will reflect the colors off your screen so you can choose the color shift if you prefer just like how i got the palms and the sunset in the background of mines you could set the brightness of it and the saturation if you really want it to look that way but again it's just screen ambiance it might black out if you open up a browser just like this and you're looking say through your emails and it'll kind of just follow through to whatever you're doing it's best for when you're using it for something like say you're watching a, a music video or if you're playing games this is a great way to enjoy those settings. If you wanna check out all the devices to make sure that they're correct, that's also a very important part of your system as they have different memory. Your memory has your monitor that should be hooked up to it, has your mouse, it also has the motherboards, which are the headers and the controller. If you see two of them, don't panic. You don't have two motherboards, but or it doesn't think you have two motherboards, it's just thinking of the two separate headers that you have. For your rgbs and then plus if you have any lighting nodes whether it's from razor or if it's from thermal take it will also pick those up and your keyboard as well you can also change the settings here you can enable them and you can change the polling rates again you won't be able to set your separate macros unless you are part of signal rgb pro when you go into your settings here, you can go with the updates and here they actually have an automatic billing if you want to set that up. Windows settings, if you prefer to start Signal RGB when your PC starts, you can easily just set it right here. So you don't have to be without RGBs if it restarts and you're wondering why your RGBs are not working correctly, that Signal RGB night might not even be on. You can even have it start minimized so it doesn't pop up in your face if you don't want it to. They also have different video settings here. If you want to capture separate frame rates and a specific monitor, if you want to capture the colors off your monitor, it can be done. There's different audio settings here if you want to set that up. And of course your partner settings, which is all the different RGBs that they have deals with. Canvas settings, macro block settings. So there is quite a bit of information in here. But just note that it still doesn't have full RGB coverage. So if you have a router, say, connected to your PC, it might not be synced with it. If you have a monitor that's synced to your PC, it might not be synced with it. It doesn't have full compatibility with every part just quite yet. So fam, fam guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any more questions about it, please feel free to ask right down in the comments down below. And also, if you're not part of the big, wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you follow my X handle right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.